dear students today in start definite integral and first is fundamental theorem of integral calculus so fundamental theorem of integral calculus the statement is that let fx be a continuous function on the closed interval a b let fx be a continuous function on the closed interval a b and and phi x be a function such that so we consider let fx be a continuous function on the closed interval a b and let phi x be a function such that integration integration phi x integration f x dx equal to phi x plus c let f x be a continuous function on the closed interval a b and let phi x be a function such that integration f x dx equal to phi x plus c that means phi x is the antiderivative of f x phi x is the antiderivative of f x that means if we integrate f x we get phi x plus c then then we have integration a to b f x dx this equal to phi x a to b we get this one integration a to b f x dx equal to phi x a to b and this will be phi b minus phi a so this is called fundamental theorem of integral calculus i repeat the f x be a continuous function on the closed interval a b and let phi x be a function such that integration f x dx equal to phi x plus c then then we have integration a to b f x dx equal to phi x a to b and this will be phi b minus phi a so phi b minus phi a this a is called lower limit b is called upper limit this lower limit b is called upper limit that means answer will be phi of upper limit minus phi of lower limit this our formula or this is called fundamental theorem of integral calculus now we consider one simple example suppose integration we have to find 1 to 2 x x square dx we have to find this so first we integrate this integration x square dx then this will be x cube by 3 plus c we get this if we taking limit therefore if we taking 1 to 2 our limit then this will be x cube by 3 1 to 2 that means just if we integrate this we get x cube by 3 plus c then if we taking limit then this is directly this result putting here and limit is 1 to 2 and this will be 2 cube by 3 minus 1 cube by 3 and this is 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and lcm is 3 8 minus 1 this is 7 and this is our answer just you know indefinite integral just find out the result and putting the limit lower limit upper limit we get our definite integral so this is the solution so suppose if this problem is given uh, 1 to 2 given dx by x given suppose this limit not given lower limit upper limit not given then this will be log x we get log x 
base e and this will be 1 2 2 and this is log 2 minus log of 1 upper limit putting x equal to upper limit minus log limit because this is a formula 5 x equal to putting b minus x equal to putting a phi of b minus phi of a this and b means 2 a means 1 this but we know log of 1 is 0 then ultimately we get log 2 is our answer so this is the rule to solve definite integral now we consider exercise we consider exercise 7.9 evaluate the definite integrals in exercise 1 to 20 now first we consider problem number 1 this problem is given minus 1 to integration minus 1 to 1 x plus 1 dx now solution this is minus 1 to 1 x plus 1 dx and we integrate this minus 1 to 1 x dx this is 1 to 1 1 dx and this power is 1 if we integrate x then x square by 2 we get and this lower limit to upper limit and integration dx means x minus 1 to 1 and first putting upper limit 1 square by 2 minus 1 square by 2 we get this one and this is 1 minus minus 1 and this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 1 plus 1 this this cancel we get 2 answer so final answer we get 2 now we consider problem number 2 to given integration 2 to 3 1 by x dx this is 2 to 3 dx by x and this will be log of x and this one limit 2 to 3 and this will be log 3 minus log 2 first you putting x equal to upper limit minus x equal to lower limit and this will be a uh, log of 3 by 2 and this one our answer consider problem number 3 this problem we consider 1 to 2 4x cube minus 5x square plus 6x plus 9 dx so we can write 4 into 1 to 2x cube dx 5 into 1 to 2 x square dx 6 into 1 to 2 x dx plus 9 into 1 to 2 dx just we separate the constant and we give the integration 1 to 2 with all the terms next 4 outside this is x to the power 4 by 4 1 to 2 integration x cube means x to the power 4 by 4 and this is 5 x cube by 3 1 to 2 6 x square by 2 only x given then x square by 2 1 to 2 plus 9 dx means x 1 to 2 so we can integrate this because we know this formula integration x to the power n dx equal to x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c if x to the power n dx given then x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c so here n means 3 3 plus 1 this is 4 4 by 4 n means 2 2 plus 1 3 3 by 3 this is 1 2 by 2 and dx means x now putting the limit this 4 4 cancel so we get x to the power 4 1 to 2 and this 5 by 3 taking outside x cube 1 to 2 and if we cancelling this we get 3 x square 2 3 is 6 this is x square 1 to 2 9 putting upper limit 2 minus 2 minus lower limit so this will be 4 is 4 to the 2 to the power 4 
2 is upper limit 2 to the power 4 minus 1 to the power 4 5 by 3 2 cube minus 1 cube 3 2 is square minus 1 is square 9 into 1 so this is 16 minus 1 5 by 3 8 minus 1 3 4 minus 1 plus 9 so 16 minus 1 is 15 and 5 this is 5 by 3 into 7 and this is 3 into 3 4 minus 1 3 plus 9 so we get this 15 35 by 3 5 7 the 35 by 3 9 plus 9 so this will be 9 plus 9 is 18 and 15 so 18 plus 15 this will be 33 we get 33 that means 33 minus 35 by 3 we get this one this is 18 this is 15 so we get 33 and this is 35 by 3 taking LCM LCM is this and this one uh, 99 minus 35 and 3 is denominator remains same 9 minus 5 this is 4 9 minus 3 is 6 and this is our answer 64 by 3 this is the answer very easy very nice solution now we consider problem number 4 the 4 given integration 0 to pi by 4 sin twice x dx but we know this formula integration sin mx dx this equal to minus cos mx by m plus c we know this formula so this is sin mx m means 2 this is minus cos twice x by 2 0 to pi by 4 and these two taking outside 1 by 2 cos twice x 0 to pi by 4 we get now this will be putting the upper limit minus 1 by 2 cos 2 into upper limit upper limit means pi by 4 minus cos 2 into lower limit 0 1 by 2 cos pi by 2 if we cancelling this pi by 2 and this is cos 0 1 by 2 cos pi by 2 0 cos 0 1 and this is 1 by 2 this is our answer answer is 1 by 2 so dear students these are very simple solution